with uh, some microscopy. So what we see here is the dead body casting of a dipteran and this body is becoming an apartment, a building for various ciliates. So we see a lot of ciliates in here occupying this body as a house. I'll change the light settings. Yes, this is fine. And fascinatingly, I'll first show you from a lower magnification what exactly this looks like. Here we go. This is with 4x objective. This is the stuff. A dipteran body. You see the dipteran body. And in this body we have... Okay, let me arrange the light a bit. In this dipteran body, uh, whose head portion is gone off, we have a lot of ciliates occupying it as an apartment building. And in this building, I came across one section, very interestingly, wherein two euplotis are in conjugation. So we change over to the next magnification. Now we are at 10x objective and 10x of the eyepiece. And as I was saying, this entire body remains of this dipteran has been converted as an apartment building by these various ciliates. You see a lot of paramecia. We uh, also find a few euplotis floating around, hovering from one um, section to another. And in, it is in this that there is a pair of euplotis. So we zoom in further. Now we are at around 300 times magnification. This is around 300 magnification. And we come to one particular pair. These are the euplotis, the flattened ones. The euplotis. And a few paramecia. So this is the one that I was talking about, a couple which is busy in conjugation. Conjugation is the way by which they undergo sexual reproduction. There is an exchange of genetic material between two individuals and this brings about a change in a replenishment of the genetic material, a rearrangement of good genes, various genes from different organisms. And we see that these are undergoing the process of conjugation. That is an adult. Here's an paramecia. Okay. I'll increase the light a bit, but before that, get them back in focus. Here they are. This light arrangement seems to be good. So here they are in the process of conjugation. It's a little tricky to get them under sharp um, focus because obviously they are behind a curtain of cuticle wall. And you can see the architecture of the cuticle wall also. the city in movement.
this is the wall of the dipteran cuticle. I'll zoom out a bit so that we get a scale of things. It's a mosquito, it's a mosquito body part, which is, uh, which was the ecdyist body shell. The Euplotes are a group of protozoa who are under the category called hypotrichia. The hypotrichia is specialized organelle carved out of the same cytoplasm, the same cell which forms the remaining body and they help in various functions, primarily movement, then catching food, third, they also help in walking because this they turn out in the form of legs as well, they serve as legs. the cuticle remains of what once was an adult. Now we go back to the reproducing unit. The lovebirds that we have here in this apartment, they are still in the process of conjugation. And if you remember from the previous stage, they have separated slightly more now. They have slightly separated more than what previously we had seen and they are not much far away from being two individuals now. A few minutes later both the both of them will be different individuals. But before that happens they have to separate. They have already had an exchange of the genetic material and they shall separate. And in the process of being separated, their bodies, bodies will be separated and then the body openings, the cuticle, the pellicle, uh, the pellicle and the um, plasma membrane, it has to be rectified, it has to be repaired. You see those Siri in motion. They are in action and the entire efforts are so as to balance themselves and at the same time create a small force by means of which they'll be able to separate. Since they are Within the, the cuticular remains of a previous dipteran, hence uh, we are having a slightly blur image. Else we would have seen a much sharper version of this. And this is quite a crowded place, I must say, because they are being constantly harassed by nearby other organisms, primarily this particular paramecia.
you can perhaps get the degree of magnification that we have here that the cuticular projections the cuticular spines they even are visible to us so you can appreciate the degree of magnification that we have witnessed here you see that this is intense They are almost separated now, except for a very, very, very small part in remaining. And I don't see any bridging of the body contents. The body of the lower individual seems to have been completely separated. And the, uh, and the one which is at the top has a small fraction of it still uh, sticking in the form of a nozzle and soon it will be separated as well. We can see that the two individuals are now lying kind of prostrate to each other in tandem and soon, pretty soon, they shall separate. This cuticular lining is providing them an adhering surface which has been quite handy. That's their bed. Almost, almost separated now. They are almost two independent organisms. And it will be interesting to see what they do once they are free. Once they are separated, they'll have an independent life. One of them will be, both of them will be completely rejuvenated with the new life material that they have, the goodness of the new genes that they have derived from the partner, that will be tested. Its efficiency, its efficacy, its fitness will be tested and it will be implemented. Almost there, almost there. Now they are almost separated, if you notice. Just a small bridging part remains. A very, very small cytoplasmic connection still joins the two as one's partners. And then they will be separated forever. They have been together only for the purpose of exchange of genes. And once they have done that, they are now separated. Now they are two different ones, so we'll follow them and see their behavior. What we are witnessing is two replenished youngs of Euplota. They are taking some rest. It was a tiring exercise, so some rest is in order. The two partners a few minutes back now lie next to each other, resting and catching hold of their breath before they wander off to live a life when they will never meet each other again. What a way of life. And this is all happening inside a segment of a dead mosquito. We are just waiting for them to show their further behavior. They are recollecting their lost energy and soon they shall be actively pursuing their independent lives. The final goodbyes, probably the kiss of separation and then they shall never meet again. And even if they